Good morning. This is the early rundown. Now, theatres in England's lower two tiers of coronavirus restrictions are now able to welcome people through their doors once again, with many shows returning to the stage this weekend. Emma Birchley has been catching up with the cast of the musical Six as they gear up for opening night. <laughs> Last-minute rehearsals ready for this. The famous Tudor wives portrayed as pop princesses in the West End musical Six. And this weekend, they're back in business after nine months out of the spotlight. It's extremely exciting, but it's also very nerve-wracking. Um, and I think we've all learnt to kind of, like, temper our excitement, given that um, over the last year there's been lots of cancellations and setbacks. So we're feeling trepidatiously excited. For theatres in tiers one and two, the end of lockdown means the curtain can rise once more, with venues restricted to 50% capacity or 1,000 seats, whichever's lower. No! Well, never mind, she has already made a match with the Duke of Milan. And while some plays had reopened briefly before being closed for the second lockdown, Saturday is the first day musicals like Six will resume. It's so on board to get this up and running to show that theatre can work in this time and even though it is hard with less seats, that it can still happen. Can we have a little look at the end of part two? The pandemic has hit the theatre industry hard. In July, the government announced a £1.57 billion support package for the arts called the Culture Recovery Fund. So far, more than a quarter of the money has been allocated in grants to more than 2,000 organisations, from theatres to museums. But in a business full of freelancers, many have found themselves slipping through the net of financial support on offer. I've been lucky to have some online things going on, um, but I know so many of my friends lost their jobs and had to you know, get a normal job. Um, and, and it's just heartbreaking. Now they're back, they're taking no chances, including regular tests for performers. But while things aren't quite normal, like just one of Henry VIII's wives, the show has survived and it's raring to go. Emma Birchley, Sky News.